Digs project. We've been excavating six hut circles in Westeros. We've found some very interesting things. We've found uh, dates for the uh, hut circles ranging from Neolithic right up to uh, late Iron Age, early, early medieval. Uh, we've found quite a lot of interesting stone tools. We found an assemblage of quartz which has been uh, worked in Neolithic times with uh, one whole quartz tool, the rest of it was debitage. We're also here to promote Arrow, Archaeology Reports Online, um, which is a good medium for not just community heritage groups but also commercial groups to publish things um, at a reasonable cost, reasonable time frame and to get out to a wider audience because there's free downloads of our website. So if you search Archaeology Reports Online or go onto the Guard Archaeology website, you'll see links and you can just download for free. No registration, no ties, just download for free, have a read and enjoy the archaeology that's being found. Well, we're primarily an educational charity and we're helping people to get involved with education and archaeology um, throughout Scotland. We've been around since 1944 and we have a number of projects on the go, one of which is our Adopt a Monument scheme, which works with community groups across Scotland. But if you're not around today, then you can get in touch on our website or give us a ring at the office and we're glad to help you. This is, this is several organisations who booked one table. So there's Dunfermline Heritage Community Projects, which grew out of the Borough Survey some years ago and has carried on doing historical research in the town and also the Transcribing School Logbooks is a project being run by Fife Cultural Trust as part of its efforts to develop material for a new museum that's been built in Dunfermline. Uh, we're an archaeological geophysics uh, group. Um, we set up in 2015 to uh, establish a group that uh, worked with community groups and educational groups uh, to bring geophysics um, to a wider audience, to allow more people to participate um, and to learn and understand about the science and how it helps with archaeology. Uh, well, they could uh, look on um, our website, it's uh, magnitudesurveys.co.uk and uh, we're on Twitter, you can follow us on Twitter at magsurveys and we're also on Facebook as well. Well, we get out and enjoy ourselves mainly. Uh, we're a quite a diverse group. Uh, anyone is welcome to join. You just have to say you're interested in archaeology in the north of Scotland and you'll be very welcome. We've got about 120 odd members. Yeah, they can just look up NOSAS, N-O-S-A-S, North of Scotland Archaeological Society, and uh, they can make contact with us through the site. There is a contact form on the site. Uh, my name is Alan Thompson and I'm the chair, and um, details are there. Write to me, write to anybody on the committee, and we'll make you welcome. Uh, we're a, sort of a unit that do a variety of different projects. We have commercial uh, projects, big wind farm developments, road developments. Um, we work with communities um, to sort of develop and engage communities in different heritage endeavours. And we also do research projects as well, trying to improve archaeological research across Britain. Um, you can get in contact with AOC. We've got a website at aocarchaeology.com, um, which is just being redesigned at the moment, so take a look soon. And you can also uh, email us at aocarchaeology.com and with the name of the office in, for, in front, so Inverness at aocarchaeology.com. <laughs>